Honor Flight Bluegrass is gearing up for their final flight in 2023. In the meantime, they are recruiting World War II and Korean War veterans for this once in a lifetime opportunity. WBKO News reporter Sarah Phipps spoke with the chairman of the board for Honor Flight Bluegrass to get more details on this adventure. Honor Flight Bluegrass is a nonprofit organization with about 125 different hubs across the United States that fly veterans to Washington, D.C. to see the memorials that were built in their honor. And all veterans who fly as veterans on honor flights do not pay anything. And this year, chairman of the Board of Honor Flight Bluegrass, Jeff Toki, says the group is looking specifically for World War II and Korean War veterans for their September 5th flight. They will leave. We leave about 7.30 in the morning and uh, land about uh, 9 o'clock in Washington, D.C. And we head right uh, out of the airport at Reagan uh, to see the World War II Memorial, Korean War, Vietnam Memorial, uh, Iwo Jima. We'll go to Arlington and watch the change in the guard. So it's a action-packed day. When asked why the emphasis on that particular generation of veterans, Toki's answer was simple. The veterans deserve to be celebrated, and there's not a lot of time to do it. They're disappearing at a rapid, rapid rate. For instance, World War II veterans we're losing 150 a day in the United States. And within about five years, most will all be gone. And if there are any left, they'll be uh, over 100 years old. Same thing with Korean War veterans. Uh, we didn't have as many veterans in the Korean War as we did in uh, the World War II. Toki said his favorite part of the trips is the emotion of it all. They vary. World War II can be very joyous, um, laughing, a lot of smiles, a lot of recognition. You go to the Korean War Memorial, it's a little bit somber. Vietnam Veteran uh, Memorial, as, as we fly more and more Vietnam veterans, is very emotional. I, I guess what I see is some closure to a lot of veterans. And Toki was sure to thank those who donated to the organization, saying all donations go towards the flights and make everything possible. When you make a donation, it, it allows us to fly veterans for free. The, the true cost is almost $700 per seat to go on a flight. And so it allows veterans to fly for free. So we, we don't think they should be charged for anything. Reporting in Bowling Green, Sarah Phipps, WBKO News. Now the deadline for registering for the flight is this upcoming Saturday, July 1st, and we'll have links for registration and donations up on our website, WBKO.com.